annoying question you get about your hand? Oh, uh... What's the question that ticks you off? <laughs> nothing ticks me off. Nothing makes you mad about it, huh? No. I'd be like, man, no, enough of that. Nothing ticks me off. I make jokes about it. Like, even with my son, I always make jokes about it. But he knows what happened to my yeah. hand. It's been six years since the fireworks accident that seriously damaged three fingers on Jason Pierre Paul's right hand. Since then, he Hi. switched teams, Hi. had a second child, Come on, boo -boo. and won a second Super Bowl. You happy? We won, man. Do you know what that means? We get a ring. <laughs> You're a pro bowler, and you win a Super Bowl. Like, you need to walk me through how it is that you're able to come back from something like that. My dad. Yeah. I put that in perspective. Like, anything, I, that's basically what it is. Anything that possibly ever happened to me in life, I look at it as you know, my dad. What would my dad do? Imagine catching a glimpse of your son winning the Super Bowl. Nice hit. Seeing him running and hitting. Relentless pass, rush pressure by JPP. Hey. No. Smiling and hugging. My brother for life, dog. Champion, bro. Even doing the worm. Pierre Paul's mom got to see the confetti with her own eyes twice. Let go, man. Come on, mommy. Come on, mommy. Come on, make us some football, go, go. Hey, take a picture. And one day, Jason may get to see his son win one too. We did it, buddy. We won Super Bowl. You know that. But Pierre Paul's own father hasn't seen it and never will. Your parents immigrate to the United States. You're mm -hmm. not born yet. Mm -mm. What is your earliest memory of being here in the States? My earliest memory of being here in the States is me, uh, me probably walking my dad to, uh, to the mailbox. Yeah. Yeah, probably at my age, bro. I'm age seven, eight. Yeah. And for those that don't know, mm -hmm. um, your father's incredible story, mm -hmm. he, the last time he saw you was when you were nine months old, Born. is that yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, nine months old because he lost his sight, sight. Um, due to glaucoma. So growing up, um, how was that relationship for you where... Hard. Hard. I'm <laughs> sorry to put my glasses on. No, that's okay. But it was hard because now to this day, it's still hard to this day because of the fact you can't see, but... He knows all the accomplishments that I did in life. <laughs> yeah. It's tears of joy anyway. <laughs> Why is it when you talk about your parents, you get emotional? Walking my dad to the mailbox, and he's like, you know, uh, let's walk to the mailbox together. I'm like, yo, I can go myself. Because <laughs> walking him to the mailbox took a whole bunch of time. But knowing my dad and knowing a father, you want to make sure your son is understanding the reason why you're doing what you're doing. Oh, that makes me want to cry. You, know well, I mean? <laughs> you, you, you mentioned their tears of joy. Mm -hmm. Why does it make you happy talking about your father? Because, because nobody do what he does. Yeah. I know a couple people, um, parents with blinding, it's like the end of the world for them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's not the end of the world because your parents can be gone. You know what I mean? Enjoy every moment that you possibly can. Jason's parents are Haitian immigrants who speak Creole. His mother has been narrating his football journey to his father since their son was in high school. She's sitting with your father mm -hmm. and watching the game mm -hmm. and describing mm -hmm. what you're doing or how you're playing. And, you know, even if he can't see you, mm -hmm. you know that he knows oh, for sure. what you're doing. For sure. Breeze dropping under his sack, and it's JPP. So it'll go somebody like this. Gabo, Gabo, man, boy, 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 my dad and my mom always say, me gasson sou. Gasson sou? Me gasson. Me gasson. Me. Me. Ga. Ga. Son. Me gasson. Sou. Sou. Ou. Ou. So, me gasson sou. Me gasson sou. Basically, what that meaning is putting them guys on you. Put all the guys on your back, and you got this. That's basically what it is. And every time they say that, I'm just like, I'll have a good game. 
My first Super Bowl. One thing that stood out was my dad saying, he don't care what I do for the rest of my life, you made me a proud father. I'm a proud father knowing what you did for the family. For him to say that was unbelievable. At the age of 23, and with all 10 fingers, JPP was a defensive end that could manhandle an offense. He won his first Super Bowl over Tom Brady. Now, Brady's his teammate. Let's go, Tom! And JPP has adjusted his game to chase more championships. Out of here! Get out of here! What I can do now, man, if I had 10 fingers, there would be nobody to stop me. And there's still now, nobody can stop me. But I'm missing fingers. Yeah, the ball is batted away. Jason Pierre Paul. Like, I can't grab. Like, if I could grab, I will grab and snatch and cup. I can't do all that, you know? So I work around that. I use my speed. I had to lose weight, you know what I mean? I'm not the same Jason I was from the Giants. I would never be that same Jason. I'm Jason now. If you look now, I'm even better. I'm even better. When did you learn the game? Still learning. Still learning coverages as we speak. You know, I'm not too familiar with coverages, but I do a great job dropping and trying to get there. Bridgewater throws, intercepted by Pierre Paul, who dropped in coverage. I want to be the best at it, you know what I mean? So if I ask you a question, and even though it's like 11 years, I'm going 12, don't think I know it. I'm asking for a reason. And then, you know, some guys on football, man, they too scared to ask questions. It's like a, a, a male thing, like, it's you too scared to ask for help. To be honest, that's what a lot of guys miss in the NFL. Because everybody think that they know it all and everything. Yeah. But you should always, you know what I mean, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? You want to still always be a student of the game. There you go. That's it. And that's what I am. Yeah. I was coaching a lot of kids yesterday. A lot of kids was just looking at my hand yesterday. Like, what happened? Like, in their head, I could already see, like, they like, oh, what happened? Yeah. Some lessons are painful. And that's why Jason will answer any question he's asked. When kids ask me, you know, what happens to your hand? I say, don't play with fireworks. Yeah. Just like that. Don't mm -hmm. play with fireworks. This is what happened with fireworks. For my dad being blind, I can only imagine if I lose my eyesight. I can't put the colors I want together. I can't see my family. I can't move around how I used to move around. So me losing a couple fingers is like, huh, nothing. You know what I'm saying? As long as I can still breathe and see my kids and still move around, I'm okay. I don't look at this as a crutch. Look at it, dog, look at it. What would my dad do? He wouldn't complain. He's living his life. Seeing how he interact with people and still carry on and still smiling. You'll barely see me get mad. You always see me smiling. I don't know what everybody's religion is, but I started with 10. When I get to heaven, I'm gonna have my 10 back. Mm. You know, I look at everything a blessing, man. And I'm still going. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I love you, man. Yeah. I love you. I love you.